JK, I was expecting you. All right, so are you guys ready for this? Come to mama. I promise you're in good hands. <laughs> okay, here we go. That is the front door. Ooh, that was a slam. Oops. Usually I'm a little bit more graceful than that, but not today. As we turn around from the front door, this is what my apartment looks like. As we move forward, first room is the room that I like to call Eileen's lair because <laughs> this room has no windows in it at all. So when you close the door, it's completely dark. Watch this. I'm going to close the door and turn off the light. It is pitch black in here. I'm turning around and you can't even tell, but that's what happens. Now this is also called Eileen's lair because this is the room that Eileen stays in whenever she's here and no, she does not sleep on the floor. Um, we got these really comfortable blow up mattresses that are actually the height of a regular bed. Blow up mattresses nowadays are amazing. So she'll sleep on that in here and anybody that's staying over or, you know, I've let friends stay at my place when I'm not here. It just allows more people to sleep comfortably. And the blow up mattresses are just convenient because when I don't have people staying here, which is most of the time, it's a great room for storage. So I keep my shooting stuff in here. And then right now I just got back from traveling for a month. So there's a lot of suitcases and stuff in here. And I'm also preparing to move. So there's a bit of that packing going on as well. I will say though, because this room doesn't have any windows, you can sleep really, really well in here. And everyone who's slept in here has said they've almost slept too well because the mattress is really comfortable and then it's completely dark and you lose all sight of what time it is outside of the room. Speaking of outside of the room, let's go into the kitchen. I really love this kitchen. Um, I have a little runner rug here that I believe I got from Urban Outfitters. And I also really love my tea kettle. It's just bright and cute and red. And I use it all the time, pretty much every single day because I love having a cup of tea. In this corner are some of my favorite things that I use on a daily basis. So I have my Irish porridge oats, which are my absolute favorite. I eat these almost every single day. And I like putting a little bit of agave for sweetness on the porridge, just to add a little bit of flavor. Behind these guys, my favorite kale chips. These are really cool because they're in the shape of tortilla chips, but they're made from kale kale and chia seed. One of my favorite teas right now is the Yogi Calming Tea, and I'll usually have a cup of this at nighttime. Above all of that is my snack cabinet. Woohoo! This is where all the good stuff is. So I have some teas, digestives, oh my god, yum. These are the ones with milk chocolate. Some more kale chips, Newman's O's, corn chips, boxes of cereal that I'm not sure about. Those may or may not be good still, but I like having cereal for dessert because why not? You only live once, right? Is anyone still using yellow or am I just an old person now? And then just some miscellaneous stuff at the top. There's hot chocolate mix and some random vitamins that I don't take as much as I should. On the side of my refrigerator, I have some interesting stuff. This is a little notepad to-do list. So if there's anything that I want to remember or I need to get, I put it on this. And then above that, I have some stonewall magnets and also a little pamphlet that I got in Ireland because I went to the Ollie Hayes pub, which is where the Obamas went when they were in Ireland and they had a pint and I also had a pint there. So I was really excited about that and I thought I would just save that memory. Now let's see what I keep inside of my fridge. This is where I keep all of my condiments. So dressings, hot sauce, whatever, you name it, it's here, some butter. Randomly, there are vitamins here and I don't remember putting them there. So 
Maybe that was Eileen or Carrie or someone who stayed here at some point. But I love dream water, especially when I travel. So I normally have one of these in my fridge. So if I'm going somewhere, I can take it with me. And I use this to adjust so jet lag isn't so rough on my body. A variety of different milks to choose from. Big fan of the almond barista milk. It is amazing in coffee, tea, and also porridge. And then every Everything else in my fridge is in the main compartment. I have a plethora of dips because I like dipping those kale chips in things. And then some drinks, eggs, butter, fruit, salad. In the back here is a little cup with some oats in it. And these are those porridge oats that are being soaked. And this just makes them fluffier and yummier. So you just put these in the fridge and you can leave them overnight or for however long you want. And then in the morning you cook them up and they're amazing. I also like having little squeezy pouches of fruit on hand because I pretty much get hungry immediately in the morning. So I like snacking on things that are basically baby food, strawberry and banana puree. Yum. Turning around from the fridge, this is what everything looks like. I have a bowl with fruit and garlic and chocolate in it. Dishes that have been washed. I don't have a dish rack, so everything just kind of gets laid out like that. My sink. By the way, I'm a big fan of this hand soap. It is from And Other Stories, and it is the arabesque wood hand soap. It smells so good. Moving into the main living area, I have a table and chairs here. If you're wondering, these are from a place called Organic Modernism, and I really, really love their furniture. I have some dried flowers here in the center of the table, and you'll notice that this is kind of a theme, fake plants, dried plants, and that's just because sometimes I'm away for extended periods of time, so... Why not have things that are already dead instead of letting things die while I'm away? And since I am filming this video on a Sunday, I always get the New York Times Sunday paper. I love reading it. I was just reading this article right here, class as a hand-me-down, and then I have a little cup of tea. Yum, yum, yum. This mug is special to me because I got it while I was on my solo road trip of the East Coast. And I got this while I was in Vermont and it's made by a local artist in, I believe Burlington. And on the mug are the green mountains, which I think are so pretty. Speaking of dead things, I learned my lesson from my fiddle leaf fig tree dying, but I didn't want to totally get rid of it. So I put some lights on it to give it a second life. But ironically, I have two strands on this tree and one of the strands, the lights are dying out on me a little bit. So half of the tree looks kind of dim, but I actually really like it. And it was a way for me to keep the tree around because I felt so bad that it just died. I normally don't kill plants like this, but this tree just had a hard time. Sorry, little guy. Next to that is the living room area. Most of my furniture is from West Elm. Actually, every single piece in this area is from West Elm. The couch, the rug, the table, and the TV stand, all West Elm. On my couch, I just have a random assortment of pillows. This one, shout out to Patty, AKA Aunt Bay, who gave this to me when we were in DC together. She surprised me as I arrived at the hotel. If you saw that Snapchat, then you know I was very excited. This is my coffee table with stuff on it. These coasters are really cool because they are actually old records. I thought that was a really interesting way to repurpose them. Poems of New York because, hey, I'm in New York right now. Little candle. So from this angle, this probably looks like a lovely little succulent next to a lovely little candle. But when I turn it around, yup, that is exactly what you think it is. It is a Lego minifig in the succulent plant and that is actually an explorer he has a map and he's going through the succulent forest some more dried plants here on my windowsill i have some eucalyptus on this side as well but one of my favorite things about this place is the view outside the window the manhattan bridge is right there and there really isn't that much noise the train just went by 
and that's about as loud as it ever gets. And you can see that we just got snow. And if you really turn, I'm gonna go over here actually, cause it's a better view. Outside of the window, you can see the Freedom Tower right there off to the left. And then at nighttime, it's a little bit hard to see now, but at night, it's super easy to spot it. You can see the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. Got my TV stand here in the cabinets. I have some books and look who it is down here. It's Pusheen, the pencil case. I love all things Pusheen, so when I saw this, I was like, um, yes, please. I have some magazines. I actually found this old issue of Harper's Bazaar. It's from August, 1950 at the Brooklyn flea market. And I just thought it was so cool. So that's one of my favorite things that I have. I have another candle and another fake plant. Woohoo! And we're gonna get a little drive-by sneak peek of my bedroom, but we're not going in there quite yet because we're going to the bathroom. I gotta show you my shower curtain because that's one of my favorite things, if not my favorite thing in the bathroom. It is a cotton shower curtain with a map of the world on it and the reason why I have a cotton shower curtain and not one that's plastic is because the cotton dries completely and you never get mildew on it and it's also super easy to wash because you can just throw it in the washer and then let it hang dry and I just got this off of Amazon practical and I think it just looks really awesome and then this is the rest of the bathroom here. Let's look inside the shower first. I don't have that much stuff in here. I'm gonna just climb in. So this is the view that I have while I'm actually showering. Kiehl's Facial Scrub, Bumble and Bumble Shampoo and Conditioner. I really love this Sunday shampoo. Orbe Magnificent Volume Shampoo, which I like, but I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing because while I like the smell and I like how my hair feels, I don't think it does anything exceptional. And then I have some more things from And Other Stories. I love And Other Stories for clothing, but they also have amazing bath and body products and I have their lemon daydream body wash and their punk bouquet body wash both of these are almost gone they're right about to the bottom part of this label here then I have a Venus razor and my favorite first aid beauty face cleanser down below in the corner here is another candle because I've been taking some more baths I'm usually not a bath person but I've been taking short ones recently just to warm myself up and kind of relax the soreness in my feet from walking around all day and it's felt really nice and then in the other corner I have summer's Eve to wash my vagina and some Dove body wash and my all-time favorite fresh brown sugar body polish. This stuff is amazing if you're looking for a body scrub. On the counter where my sink is, I have a bar hand soap, which smells amazing. It's like an amber soap. I also have a body oil from And Other Stories, some compressed hand actually not hand towels these are washcloths and i've used a couple of them before they're little tablets in this jar and it reminds me of being a kid because you just put these under water and the washcloths expand it's really cool and also just a great way to save space and if you have people coming over these are just fun and convenient and practical to have out i got this hand soap on sale from west elm and i really love it because it has a lavender scent to it and then up here is my cabinet with all the rest of my stuff in it. I'm not gonna individually go through everything, but I'll just pan across so you can see and shout out some of my faves, like the Simple Micellar Water, Kate Somerville Moisturizer, both of the fresh lotions. Next shelf is mostly facial skincare. I also have my favorite deodorant from Meow Meow Tweet. Trying out a new lip balm. I've heard great things about this from Estee, but I know that she really likes the pot version and I'm trying the stick version because it's the only thing I could find. I have been loving this, especially for winter time because it's just really, really cold. It can dry out your skin and leave it irritated, but putting this on before my moisturizer has just been so amazing. On the top shelf, I just have some more random stuff. This is where I have my face masks that I'm using right now. 
The Glam Glow one is not my favorite TBH, but I really, really love the Tula one and the Omero Vixa one. Also loving the French Girl lip polish right now. I'm gonna pull it down because my arms are getting tired from holding up the camera. But this lip polish is amazing. It's hydrating and also just gets rid of any dead skin. Then on this side, there's another smaller cabinet where I have mostly hair products. So the Dove dry shampoo, a little sample of the dry bar dry shampoo, the Chloron dry shampoo. I have many dry shampoos, as you can see. A Nexus hairspray. I also love the Bumble and Bumble thickening dry sponge spray. And one of my other favorites, the Tresemme Perfectly Undone nail polish remover and the Honest Organic Healing Balm for any kind of burns or minor cuts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that is the bathroom. And now moving into the bedroom. This is what my bedroom looks like when you walk in. So I have my bed here. I have a tufted and needle mattress. I am a big, big, big fan of tufted and needle. My pillowcases are from Urban Outfitters, the ones with the little dots on them, and also the pillow in the front. And then the rest of my bedding is from Amazon. Over here, I have a plant that I absolutely love because it doesn't take much to keep it alive. It holds up really well when I'm away. And I got this from a company called The Sill, which actually delivers plants that are already potted for you. So. All you have to do is just figure out where you want them and what you want and they bring them to you ready to go. It makes it so easy, especially when you're living in a place like New York and most people don't have a car to be hauling things around. This is my dresser, which I got from Organic Modernism. I love it. This is a painting that my dad painted. This was in my bedroom when I was younger and I really wanted something of him with me. I have a little succulent plant and a photo from a cubby hole, which is one of the last remaining lesbian bars in the country. Candles, some more stuff from and other stories. I have a body lotion and also a body butter. I have a variety of things to choose from here and I just like having books with me everywhere I go. I have a little nightstand. This was actually part of a set of nesting tables from Urban Outfitters and I took the smallest one and turned it into a side table next to my bed. I have a graphic novel there. This is the stuff on my nightstand. You will definitely recognize the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and then I have another lip balm here. I have another Lego minifig here. This is the Ice Queen. And then an amazing, amazing candle that I got from Estee. She sent this to me as a gift and I love it so much. And the little pot that it comes in is so beautiful. The candle itself smells like jasmine and jasmine is one of my favorite scents. I have some more books over here, some poetry, Brave Enough, cause that goes everywhere with me. And then the window. So this is more of the view. This is what I see from my bedroom and this is just so amazing. I am so sad to be leaving this, but I'm never gonna forget it. And then turning around, this is what it all looks like from my bed. I have a full length mirror over here. Gotta do the mandatory wave and mirror, right? Today I'm actually wearing a sweater from And Other Stories. Wow, I have a lot of stuff from And Other Stories. I didn't realize that. I mean, I had a feeling, but this just really shows how much I love it. This is one of my favorite oversized sweaters. And then I have on a pair of page jeans and then my little house slippers that are super cozy and warm. Next to my mirror is my closet, which is pretty barren not only because I'm moving, but because I just don't really have that much clothing. So this is the extent of my closet. Just some miscellaneous hair, lint roller, my favorite Jo Malone perfume, some sunglasses, straightener, hairbrush. I love my Numi straighteners. And I saw, I think on Instagram, that Numi is now called curled i believe said that they were launching in january and i'm really excited to see if they have anything new because 
I love my new me straightener and curlers and everything. So I can't wait to see if they have some new things because I'm going to be all over that. So these are my little makeup bags here. The little leopard print bag has my brushes in it. I have my Bare Minerals Original Foundation, which I wear every single day that I wear makeup. Underneath that is a little Bare Minerals Highlighter Duo, which I also really love. And then in here is just a lot of stuff. I have my Too Faced Peach Palette, which I'm loving. This Tom Ford lipstick. Another one of my favorites that I wore recently in my Q&A video is this Bare Minerals Lip Color in Love. These are really moisturizing and I love the color payoff. Over over here, I have another little pusheen. This is a palm pusheen. How cute is this? And I just took this off of my purse because I didn't want it to get all dirty around New York City. Then here is a stack of my playbills from shows that I have been to. My favorite, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. And then I also have Fun Home. And in this cardboard is a signed playbill from Michael C. Hall, who is one of my favorite Hedwig's. Eileen got that for me as a gift for my birthday and I just treasure it so much. All right, so that is my New York City apartment tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been such a special place for me and it really means a lot that I get to share it with all of you because in the last two years that I've been here, I've gone through so much in my life and this place has been such a huge part of those changes. Since I was a little girl, I always had a dream of living in New York City on my own terms and I told myself I would do it for two years and that's what I've done and I feel so proud but so sad to be leaving and hopefully I will be back one day in the future. You never know. I'll definitely be here visiting and working but as far as living, I would love to come back in the future at some point. But in the meantime, I am going to be moving really soon and consolidating everything in LA. And once the move on both ends happen, because there's a move that has to happen in LA and then the move across the country from New York, I'm gonna mush all of that stuff together into a new place. And I will be sharing that with all of you as soon as I get the place. Cause at this point, I don't even know what the place is gonna look like or where exactly it is so it's an exciting but sad time the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new thank you so much for watching this video and for just being a part of this journey that i feel like we're all on together make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos coming in the future and if you enjoyed watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i will see you all later i hope you're having a wonderful day bye